This is a consumer message from Gina reloading from the hot pot. If you like videos like this, if you'd like to see good gun gear and accessory reviews, please consider to give a subscribe down here at the bottom. Maybe turn the bell notification on. Always give a like and please share. Welcome back my pupils, this is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. Hey, today we're out here on the range with the Vector Optics. This is the 1x26x32 Shake Awake Red Dot Sight. Now, my I've got this PC mounted on my chambered in 9mm. We're going to run this through some paces today. Now, I've already preset this where I like the eye relief according to where it is for me. And I also sighted in with a new bore sight tool, a nine millimeter bore sight that I got in for a review. So we're also gonna be checking that out because I ran that through the chamber and then zeroed the red dot in on that. So we're gonna take our first shots at a target out here um, and see where we're at. This is the target we're gonna be shooting at today. I'm gonna to number them one, two, three, and four and then one final in the center for some offhand freehand shots. There, I've got them numbered out, so let's get set up and take some first shots with this Vector Optics Frenzy. Also, the first part of this video has been shot using my Canon. Now, I brought out this generic 4K camera, so the rest of the video is gonna be shot with this camera only. So we're also doing a little, um, how's it do for a review kind of thing. Stay tuned. on the right I ended up with uh, one two three four five a zone and one C ah, hate them Charlie's let's go look at the next one this is what we're talking about we got six a zone hits two of these touching man I'm liking this dot fast fast and easy to transition with that big window and that dot is so crisp and easy to pick up I'm not a big I'm not a big car carbine shooter PCC shooter, but I do love playing with it. All right, my pupils, we're going to do some plate plinking. In here, I've got my 9mm reloads with small rifle primers. So if we get a light primer strike, well, it's not the, it's not the firearm, it's the primers. But here we go. We're about uh, 20 yards out. Yep, see what I mean? Got to hit that little tiny one. Oh, 
this is super super nice this dot wow crisp easy to find nice big window That magazine's gone. I got another one. So I'm gonna play for a little while and uh, I'll come back and we'll, we'll test the, the zero on this dot and see if it held. My little spray and pray. I got one in the C zone. I did make an A zone headshot. So I'll go over here to this one. And all in the A zone. One one C that was from before. And I got a headshot on this one too. Man, I might have to start doing me some BCC there. If you wonder why you see that hole right here. Well, that pole, I'm actually under a shelter on a shooting bench. So, let me take you around with that a little bit. Let's see where we shoot at. We got nice shooting benches here. Nice range to shoot on. Pays to be a member. <laughs> now, I got how many rounds I got loaded up into this. I got six. Six rounds loaded up into this. So we're going to take three shots at number two and three shots at number four. So that's the lower left and the upper right. So we're going to test zero on this dot. That might help. There's three on number two. Come on, do uh, three on number four. Yeah, we're gonna skip one. All right, we're empty. Let's go down and take a look. This is my reconfirming pattern. <laughs> That's three shots in number two. Then I went up here and did three shots over here. Now, this was already up there. So I actually put three bullets through this hole. Can you believe that? Look at that. That is just crazy. Look at that. Three through one hole. Then I made one hole with these three. Man, Vector Optics. Presses me even more and more. This is my second offering from them. And wow. Totally impressed. Next, I'm going to take 10 shots just shooting uh, offhand. Let's see how we do. This is all 10 shots. Let's go down and check the target out. This was 10 shots offhand. It's not a terrible grouping. <laughs> wow. Let's go back on the bench and talk about this optic a little bit. This Vector Optics Frenzy 1x26x32 6MOA dot sight is fantastic. Man, this exceeds my expectations. Now, Vector is not a budget optics company like some others, but they're also not the high end either. They're a nice mid-range optic that the average person can't afford. And what you get with it is going to be absolute quality. 
nice clear glass, parallax free, bright red dot, even on this sunny Ohio day, we got some bad ones coming. But today it is very nice out. Excellent for target transitioning as you see. I'm not a big pistol caliber carbine shooter, but I don't seem to have a problem hitting A zones with this optic on top. The optic that I previously had on here, I could not do that. The, the dot was too small, too dim, and it just didn't have a good window in it. This one, this is staying on my PCC. And I just may um, upgrade this a little bit, maybe run this in some USPSA action this next coming year. We'll see how we, uh, we'll see how we feel about it. But check out Vector Optics. There's a link below in the description. If you click on that link and you go to Vector Optics and you purchase anything, you'll get 10% off your entire order. Now this code is indefinitely good, uh, to my knowledge, as far as I'm associated with Vector Optics. Well, my pupils, great, great optic, great optic. Whatever you're gonna put this on, whether it be a PCC, shotgun, rifle, backup red dot, Whatever you'd want to do with it, I would highly recommend this. Excellent. We got something new coming in from Vector here soon, so stay tuned for another review of the fantastic Vector Optics. Oh, did I also mention you get a lifetime guarantee? As long as you possess a Vector Optics and something goes wrong with it, they will repair or replace it. That is a big bonus. All right, my pupils, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate you, and always remember to keep blowing the smoke.